my channel in today's video we're going to be doing another wig review this video is going to be another love me wig that i just purchased it was their six by six lace side closure wig I think that's how you say it i don't know it'll be listed in the link below um but yeah i picked up that wig and i love side parts like when i get my natural hair done i always do a side part don't really do a middle part that often but i have been waiting for them to do a side part that was not a frontal so i was so happy when it, they did launch this wig um so yeah i picked that wig up and we're going to be putting it on today just a disclaimer baby i am not the wig goddess okay so I may not put my wig on the way you put a wig on or the way you lay a wig, but I put it on that works for me. This is just a review on the wig itself, not so much as my technique. So if you were looking for the technique on how to install a flawless wig, baby, this ain't that video. I'm just giving you a little review on this wig. Um, but without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and insert a clip of me opening this wig on camera with you guys. And then we're going to come back and talk about the wig. I didn't take out much hair this is only the amount of hair I took off but it just makes the part look a lot more natural with the wig so hopefully you guys can see but I went ahead and I bleached the knots on this wig um, it kind of got like a little brassy undertone to it uh, this is my first time actually bleaching knots but um, I bleached the knots and I flat aren't well I took the hot comb to the closure to kind of just get it as you know slick as I can and now I'm gonna go ahead and flat iron it I'll be back once the wig is styled so you guys can watch me actually put it on my head I did not pluck this wig um, I'm not really that great at plucking wigs um, and plus it's a front part so you really won't be seeing that hairline in the front maybe just on this side so just something for reference okay you guys so you probably just saw that footage of me unboxing the wig and how it came and everything that was included with that purchase now let's go ahead and just talk about the specifics on the wig in case you were interested like i said it is their six by six lace side part body wave lace wig that's a mouthful it's kind of repetitive but it's their six by six side part body wave lace closure wig um, this wig is 250 grams and the weight is 100% virgin hair from one donor. It's said to last at least a year. It's 180% density. The color is in natural black. On the website it said it can be dyed. The straps are adjustable. The circumference of this wig cap is 22.5 inches which is a standard medium size. And the lace is a swish swiss medium brown and again as i stated 
it is a six by six lace closure um the re i got mine in an 18 inch and it retails for 319 dollars I don't think I paid $319. I think I paid like $260 because I think at the time they did have like a 23% off. Um, and then also I had like reward points. So yeah, I didn't pay that much. So that's another thing that I will say with um, ordering through this company. They usually always have some type of promotion going on where you can get money off the price. And then as, me as you become a frequent customer, you start to accrue points. And then those points can be used towards your next purchase. So that's just something to keep in mind. But anywho, you guys saw me unboxing the wig. Here is the wig here. Um, I just went ahead and added some curls and some flexi rods to it. And um, I also bleached the knots on the wig as well. Um, so yeah, before I put it on, I am just going to go ahead and put a little bit of foundation where the closure line is and kind of around the hair, the hairline here. And um, then we can go ahead and install this wig. to put my wig on I am going to be using this even wonder lace bond adhesive spray it says extra mega hold um, this is my first time using this spray here I normally use the goss to be glue um, but I'm also going to be using their edge control as well to uh, glue my wig on so yeah hopefully this works so I already have my stocking cap on. I'm just going to go ahead and start to spray this on and then um, put the wig on. I do want to make sure that the bands are already on in the back because sometimes the bands can come loose. So let me make sure I put this on the last one because I do have a smaller head. So what I mean by that is in the back, they have these little um, slots where you can adjust this strap for security. I like to put it on the very last one because like I said, my head is on the smaller side. So um, just, you know, for reference, you can adjust that in the back to your liking. I'm gonna go ahead with my spray and start to spray my cap down. Actually, I'm going to put the wig on first, then spray my cap. Just so I can see where I want it. Okay, so now I pretty much have the wig position where I want it. I'm going to go ahead with my spray and start to spray my lace onto my cap. I'm also going to put the cones in that are made into the wig for just some extra security. You totally don't have to do that. It's definitely a personal preference. 
but I like to do that. I'm doing this out of order. I'm so sorry, you guys. I should have cut my lace and then spray, but I didn't, so it's okay. If we have to go back in and respray it and glue it down, that's fine. But I'm going to take these little scissors to start to cut my lace where I want it. Um, you could use the... Uh, the eyebrow razor thing if you want but I like to use this because it gives me a little bit more control Just pull it down. especially these flyaways I will say that's one thing that I didn't like about this wig I felt like when I was curling it it was a lot of flyaways like I'm not sure how they cut this wig but it was very choppy like very very choppy so that's one thing that I did not like about this wig So this is the final result with the wig put in. Um, I just went ahead and combed my curls out a little bit and tighten up the ends with my wand. But I, I really like it. I really like her. Um, I think that fluffing it up with some um, wand curls just gives it a little bit more body um, than wearing it straight. So I um, would definitely recommend you know wearing this wig maybe curled and not so much straight um but i i really really like it i could have did better with the closure um but for now it's giving what it needs to give um i'll have this wig linked in the description box below if you like this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe before you go and i will see you guys in my next video bye guys